So the DJI Mic 2s have hit the streets, which means you know we gotta drip check them. Because if you didn't know, when the DJI Mic 1s came out, I could not find nothing wrong with these things. And now that being said, I'm not even gonna lie, there's one thing that, yeah, that I, I don't like about these. Yo, how you guys doing, man? Happy Wednesday. Ooh, that sun. Look, look that, that sun is hot. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, how y'all doing, man? I hope you guys are having a great start to the day. I know I am. It, like, y'all, it's like 50 degrees today. <laughs> when it was literally, it was literally just, I would say, I think it was in the 30s, like yesterday. <laughs> Man, what is going on? But yeah, we are heading into work. Gotta head to our first meeting. And also today, today we are vlogging with the DJI Mic 2. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but I was extremely impressed with the Mic 1s. Now, there, also, there's a lot of noise. There's a street sweeper right over there. I don't know if y'all can see him. He, he right over there. <laughs> okay, but no, but seriously, with that all being said, we are using the whole vlog today. We are using the DJI Mic twos they just came out they dropped i copped them so we gotta check them we gotta do a drip check and i want you guys to pay attention to the audio quality i'll pay attention to the battery as well as the differences between the two mics the dji mic one and the twos now just really quick i will say though after listening to like just doing some test footage on my own it's hard like to be honest like i can't tell the difference and that's just when it comes to audio quality but i can tell the difference between the build as well as some things that I do like a little bit better about the mic too. So, yeah, let, let, I mean, yeah, actually, we need to get to work. Okay, just finished up my 10:30 meeting, so now let's talk about these DJI mic twos real quick. The first thing I want to actually talk about is the price, cause you got a couple of options, and y'all know I be trying to save y'all some money. Dang it, I dropped my phone. <laughs> All right, so basically you have three options. You could either buy the full package, the full bundle, which comes with two mics and the receiver, and that's going for like $350. And then you have just the mic itself, which is about $100. Or you have the option of buying the receiver and the mic. But pretty much the options kind of depend on you and what you are using the mics for. For example, one of the biggest updates with the mic is the Bluetooth connectivity, which is a big deal, meaning you could connect it to the Ace Pro, the DJI Osmo Action 4, the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, all without having a receiver. So if you are just looking to use a mic just for that purpose, then you don't need the receiver. So you could just get the mic, which is going for 99 bucks. All right, so now let's just say you bought the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, which came with a mic. But remember, it didn't come with a receiver, meaning that you can't use it with any other drip. So if you have another camera, it would be better to just get the receiver and additional mic, which is going for 219. And if I'm being honest, this is probably the best option for a lot of, like for most people, because it comes with everything you need. It comes with the mic, comes with the receiver, comes with all the wires, as well as all the adapters. So you're not missing much, plus, the pouches, I think, is I think this pouch is actually better than just lugging around the case everywhere. But now let's just say money in a thing, you got the bag, you hug the block hard, and you're looking for the whole shebang, then this would probably be the best option for you. And again, you get a case with the adapters, two transmitters, and one receiver. And if you go this route, the best part about it is the case, because not only are you getting two mics and a receiver, but the case is a charger. So all you have to do is plug in the mics, put them back in, and boom, you are pimping. You charge it, and they charge extremely quickly. But yeah, you guys probably already know that because they're, that's the same thing that the Mic 1s did. Which brings me to similarities as well as differences I've noticed from the Mic 1s to the Mic 2s, which is first one being the case is a little bit heavier and is longer. And like, yeah, it's just bigger overall. It's not taller, but yeah, it is bigger. Something else that's similar is the overall use of the mics. They work at, they work almost identical to the old mics. But the last thing being the build quality as well as the audio quality, those are both the same. I don't care what nobody say, they sound exactly the same and they are built extremely well. Oh, and they also both still offer internal recording with eight gigs of storage. So plenty of storage 
no matter which ones, which ones you use. But now when you take a closer look at the mics, that's when you notice a couple of things that are different. Like for example, the magnet on the mic twos are a lot stronger than the magnet on the mic ones, as well as the lighting placement is different too as well. So the lights are on the side on the mic twos and the lights are in the front on the mic one. And also on the mic twos, the button layout is a bit different as well because they move the power button and the record button. And yeah, that's pretty much, oh, and then you also have, you can see that the mic itself runs along the entire microphone, whereas on the mic ones, the mic is just here. And something else that's different is also the receiver. Cause as you can see, you now have a dial on the receiver rather than just the touch screen alone. And now there are a couple of other differences, but the biggest two differences have to be the Bluetooth connectivity as well as the 32 bit flow. Those two are the biggest game changers of the mic too. So if you are looking to upgrade, you need to think about that. For me, I wouldn't really upgrade unless I was using the Bluetooth connectivity. That Bluetooth connectivity though, that's probably more important to me than the 32 bit flow. I'm just super saying, I'm just super saying. As we mentioned before, the DJI mics do offer 32-bit float, which is a good thing, but also I'm telling you, it's not the biggest thing. But yeah, the 32-bit float edition is definitely a plus because what it allows you to do is basically just record. You could yell, you could talk super quiet, and it won't clip or anything. Like you are pimping the audio will be how to be crispy. And now talking too low isn't so much of a problem because you can always drag that back up in post. There's so many ways to bring this audio back. It's the clipping that's mainly the problem. Cause you see, if your audio is clipping like a bunch, that is extremely hard to save. Like you can't bring that back. A lot of times you cannot bring it back. And that is where 32-bit float comes in handy. See, when you record with 32-bit float, no matter how loud you are yelling, the audio won't clip. So you have pretty much safe and usable audio all the time. But there's a catch though. <laughs> Cause you see, yes, although you can record in 32 bit float, you have to do it internally. And the catch is you basically have to sync your audio. So then what you'll have to do is plug the microphone in the computer, pull the audio file, off the microphone and then line it up correctly with the video file that you have on deck. And now if I'm keeping it a thousand with y'all though, if you have just the basic knowledge of editing and how cameras work as well as how they work with the camera, you can do this. You can sync audio easily. I mean, I even think that Adobe, I think Adobe Premiere Pro also does auto syncing for you. So yeah, it is possible to do it and do it quick. It's just that that is an extra step. And now again, 32 bit float is pretty good. Like I'm not even gonna lie, it's, it's pretty boss. But to me, the biggest addition, like I said, is the Bluetooth connectivity. Cause you cannot beat that. Especially if you have the pocket or the Osmo Action. So come on, Pip, you cannot beat that. Bus. <laughs> And also too, it works with the Insta360 H Pro, which is a great camera and your phone. The way that this feature works is that if you see it lighting blue, all you need to do is legit tap on the power button and then it will turn to green. Blue is for Bluetooth and then green is for going to the receiver. So if you're gonna be using a mic for the Osmo Action or the Ace Pro or your phone or something like that, you would want this to go to blue. So just click on the power button and it will go blue and now you can connect it to whatever you want. But if you want to go in after receiver, you want it to be green. You know, I thought I would explain that real quick because I'm gonna be real, it took me a while to figure it out. I was over here trying to, <laughs> I was trying to pair it to things. I was like, why is this thing not working? <laughs> And now, since we talked about all the pros and how great these are, there is one con. It was something that I did mention this right in the beginning of the video. There is one thing I don't like about these, and that is, that's the case. I think the case is just too big. And now, this is just my personal opinion. A lot of people actually like the case, and they like the new addition to the, to the latch, which I never have any problem with the old case. But for me, again, I think the case is too big, and it is a little heavier than the first one. And I would prefer it to be the same size as the older case. And this is just, again, I'm just super safe. Like legit, for me personally, buying the whole bundle, I'm probably never gonna use the case. I'll probably just use the receiver and the microphone. 
and that's it. And I'll just throw them in my pocket or something like that. Or throw them in a pouch that I have lying around. But for the most part, yeah, I think, I think the case is just too big. And for me, that's, that's pretty much it. And you know what, overall, I think the mics, I think the mics are solid. Like, I'm gonna be real. They are some solid mics, but I do think that you don't really need, you, you gotta choose wisely. I feel like the average person doesn't need the whole bundle. I'm just, look, I'm just super saying. But yeah, the mics are good. And then when I'm comparing it to the mic ones, the DJI mic ones, yeah, they're very, the, the, the audio quality is so similar, but you're not getting a 32-bit flow and you definitely not getting the Bluetooth connectivity. So that's the only thing. But other than that, yeah, the mics are, those mics are good too, and they just dropped the price. They also dropped the price on the Action 4 too. Have y'all seen that? But anyway, anyway. But yeah, they did drop the price on the Mic 1s. So yeah, they dropped the 250, and I think that that's a pretty good deal. Especially, I mean, if you can find it used, Pimpin, get it used. Pretty much you can't use anything from the Mic 1s with anything of the Mic 2s. That goes with the case as well. So I just wanna let y'all know, those things, the Mic 1s and 2s, they're not interchangeable. But yeah, overall, DJI, Good job, like for real. Y'all definitely pass the drip check. <laughs>what a great day we are still on the dji mic twos again we've been on them all day and i think for the most part they are yeah they work really well again it's just i think when comparing them to the mic ones they're really hard to compare because the mic ones were so good i mean if literally i mean the biggest thing for me it's not the 32-bit flow which is dope but the bluetooth connectivity like that's the biggest thing for me. And if you are looking for like some better audio quality, uh, it's it you can't even tell the difference. I'm I'm just keeping it 1000. But you know what? What did you guys think about the mics? What do you think about the audio quality? Did it sound good to you? What do you think about the build? I think the build quality is pretty solid too. I actually really like them as well as the design. I like the new Ooh, that lighting. Let's get some of that light. Ooh. <laughs> But yeah, I do think the new design works well and they they made some adjustments that were that were pretty good. But I gotta know what you guys think about these mics. I'm sure you, a bunch of you guys probably already looked at a bunch of reviews because I'm like super late. <laughs> so I would love to know what you guys think about these mics. Like, do you like them? Do they suck? I would love to know your thoughts down below. And also I gotta give another quick shout out to Domingo for sponsoring today's coffee. Pimmy, thank you so much for the coffee. And if you wanna buy me a coffee, don't be shy, the link is down below. But if not, no tea, no shade, cause y'all already know I ain't a hater. Hater in my hood never let me be a hater. Side note, I just bumped my head on this plant. <laughs> Anyway, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed making it. I will see you in the next one. Also, look at this shot right here. Look at that. That's the moon. That's the cathedral. Come on. Tell me. Tell me that ain't against the shot. Come on. Look at that shot. <laughs> All right, I'm out. I need to get home. <laughs> okay, can you guys see me? Can you see me? <laughs> yeah, so how is the... Um, How's the audio? Can you hear me? Can you how we sound? Is it crackling? Is it cutting out? Can you see me? <laughs> I I think y'all can see me. <laughs>